Sony has brought us a new drone and they call this one the Air Peak. Epic, epic, epic. Hmm, something that is epic, but this one is Air Peak. Ah, Sony, you are up to something. We are going to be talking about the Sony Epic drone and now by far I'm sure by now you would have seen some couple of videos on it online already and most of them are geared towards professionals. Now my goal with this video is to break some of the big terms that you've had to very barest minimum so that you the person who is just getting into professional drones or if you're someone who is just getting into drones or getting to know about drones I'm going to be breaking down this particular Sony drone or whether this drone is actually in your field. So. Super pumped up as always for this. Let me get coconut water. Let's do this. We are going to be taking it one by one so that you can get to understand every little concept of what you have actually heard on YouTube. Today, we try to introduce a new product integrating AI and robotics, designed for adventurous creators. So this is kind of like the very first look we have. If you have a very key look, you would see that the drone is actually hanging. Now, if you're a beginner, I know you are thinking, this isn't exactly what I expected from Sony. Yes, what you're seeing is not actually a type of drone that is directed to you as a beginner or someone who is just getting into drones. This is actually a professional drone. This is targeted at professionals and not beginners. And so if you look at the build quality of this particular thing from afar, you would get to know that there's a camera that is hanging below the drone. And if you look, just as we are familiar, the drone has its own props and with the prop holders extending from all the various angles, as you can see in this particular image. This is Airpeak. Airpeak enables video creators to explore new forms. Okay, so let me take this back. Let me take this back and show you so if you look closely, you realize that we have a camera here. So what happens is that this kind of drones work a little bit differently from your regular drones that you have like the Mavic and the Phantom series. So what happens is that this particular camera that you see is like an FPV camera. What an FPV camera is, is first person point of view. So this allows the pilot to be able to put himself in the position of the drone. So he's able to see the direction that the drone is moving. Now, there's a caveat to this. If you're very used to the regular small consumer drones that DJI produces and you have never really flown a professional drone of this size or magnitude before, this camera is actually different from the main camera that you use to capture. This camera is just attached to the frame itself and that allows you to be able to know where the drone is and then another separate person is going to be controlling the main camera from which you are going to be driving your footage from. I don't know if this makes sense, but let's proceed. You'll get to understand this further. To explore yeah. So like I said, as you can see on our left, we have someone here and our right, we have another person here. So what is happening is that one of them is controlling the drone and the other person is actually controlling the camera. So the one controlling the drone has access to that small camera that we saw to enable him be able to maneuver the drone around whilst this other person concentrates solely on camera movements. I hope this makes sense this time round as we can see it. So this one controls the drone and this one controls the camera. Frontiers for visual expression. 
and the other thing you realize is that as the drone is rising up all the legs begin to kind of fold up now this is not an entirely new concept because if you also know dji aside from the dji phantom series that they produce they also have higher end drones like the metri series apart from the metri series they actually have a lot which also includes the inspire series so now with the inspire you realize that once the drone is about to rise or when it's rising or immediately you put it on and you want to put it in the air all the legs also unfold but in a different way altogether not how sony has decided to implement it in its drone so the concept isn't entirely new but what this allows you to do is that let me continue Please. you realize that it gives let me take this back so you realize that because the legs are out of place it gives you full chance to be able to rotate this camera around 360 without seeing the legs of the drone in the shot you realize that if you're using the mavic pro or the smaller consumer models that dji produces then you would have to turn the whole drone around in order for the camera because the camera is actually attached to the body but with this the person controlling the drone can have the drone in place and the camera person can actually move the gimbal around 360 without physically moving the drone around so all this would make sense when it comes to obstacle avoidance because that means that the drone only needs front and back it might not need side obstacles but i'm waiting to see how sony would implement this let's let's proceed with this with sony's Yes, and this is another side that also separates from the regular drones that you know because this is a professional drone so it allows you to be able to put on a camera, a full fresh DSLR or mirrorless camera on this drone so it flies. Now this comes with a lot of advantages. Now. I have not been a lover of DJI drones to some certain extent, mainly because of you know the kind of codec that they use. And trust me, no matter how hard you try in post, you sometimes you you are not just able to hit the colors to match with your camera footage or your regular footage that you capture on the ground. And I really hate it when, you know, you keep alternating between different color signs. The color signs on your DSLR is different from what you are capturing on your drone. And so it keeps alternating front and back. So ah, it is not really cool sometimes. So to have something like this is really a very good thing. So imagine you're using this particular Sony camera to capture your ground shots and it's time to capture your aerial shots. All you need to do is just to Take that same Sony camera, put it on this drone, put it in the air, and you still have the same camera, meaning that you still have your same color signs and nothing virtually has changed. The only difference is you've just lifted the camera up or the camera is just basically flying in the air. And that is where this kind of drones actually come in. And that is where they actually shine. And so as you can see in this particular frame, they are actually fixing a particular lens to that particular camera body. And the nice thing here is that their own Sony mirrorless camera, which is a camera within the A7S series, and what makes me excited is that when company manufactures a camera and manufactures other accessories, you are sure that at least even if it doesn't work with other camera companies' cameras, it's definitely going to work with this. And so imagine the whole new world of possibilities of what you can do with this particular kind of a drone attached to a Sony camera, whether a Sony Venice or maybe a Sony A7 III or any form of Sony camera. This opens up a whole new world of possibilities when it comes to this kind of drones. This alpha camera, stable dynamic remote shooting is possible. Yes, and as you can see, they are trying to demonstrate the speed and how this can be very resistant because it's flying very close to the car. So just as I discussed earlier, as you can see, the drone is actually fixed in position and the cameraman or the person controlling the camera is actually doing his thing as the drone is flying along the path of this particular car. Let's proceed with this. Creators have unlimited potential to capture stunning images from above. Airpeak transform. And as you can see, we actually have two batteries in this particular drone. We have one here, we have the other here. And as established earlier on in this video, if you're someone who is already used to professional drones, then this concept is not entirely new. But having it in this all new Sony drone is actually very good. And 
you know, we can wait to have this particular drone in our hands, then we can all get to feel it and know exactly how this batteries will last or probably the exact type that this particular drone is using. But eh, the drone is new, so of course the batteries would also actually be new. But to be able to swap in two batteries at the same time and get the drone working, it's a very good thing. And I'm waiting to see how this is implemented because some drones out there, when one battery goes down, you can simply just come down. Instead of turning off the drone, you can just quickly swap in the battery, have a new one in the drone, and voila, you are back in the air. So I'm waiting to see how this exactly is implemented. As you can see, we are all limited by just this short video that was released. So we don't really know much in terms of specs or all those other details that comes along with normal product reviews like this and as discussed earlier just as i predicted as you can see we have obstacle avoidance just at the back here and we have another one around the front facing area but we don't have to the sides if you have side obstacle avoidance in this kind of drone obviously it's a waste of time all you need is front and back because you know why the drone only needs front and back motion and the camera can do the rest. If it's supposed to be a side movement, you can still do front or back and the camera will either be tilted this way. If you want to capture a side shot, like I said, on a normal regular drone, you realize that the consumer drones, you would have to turn the drone this way if I have to do a side shot and fly the whole drone to that particular side. But what happens with this ones is that all you need to do is to either be going in front or rather be moving backwards. So all you need is front and backwards motion. And now what happens is that, that means if you need a side shot, the drone just needs to face in front and the camera person just needs to turn only the camera so that it now becomes a side shot. Simple as that. And that is one thing that sets this kind of drones apart from the smaller ones that most of us who are beginners are used to or what most of us who are beginners mostly see mostly see online or mostly see some drone pilots using to capture their films especially the indie film community let's proceed with this from the skies into an infinite creative playground epic all right so that is the kind of drone that sony is going to be releasing we all just can't wait to finally have our hands on this sony epic drone epic epic Epic. Epic. Hmm. These people are playing with our minds. Oh goodness, these companies, sometimes they can play with our minds. <laughs> Don't mind me guys. That is all for this video guys. And before you go, oh guys, let me get some fresh coconut water. Hmm. Here on the continent of Africa, we have abundance of coconut. And so when you are around here, try and grab some fresh coconut because I can't go a whole day without drinking coconut. And if you're new here, guys, I much appreciate it if you do click on the subscribe button and hit on the notification icon because on this channel, we talk about photography, videography, and all its related branches. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will definitely catch you on the next one. Like we do it as always, guys, keep practicing filmmaking. Peace out.